Hey Gemini, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with your monthly message for December 2019. We are using Thalima Tarot for our message this month and we'll be using a selection of oracle cards as well. I encourage you as always to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus videos. They give you a great snapshot of what's going on for you in the energy atmosphere throughout the month. They're linked in a playlist for you at the end of this video, so take your time watching those. Take the whole month to watch those. <laughs> uh, as always, watch the dailies. Tune in there, please, and check me out on Instagram as well. Everything's linked for you uh, right here through YouTube or on my website in the description box. All right, let's jump into your message this month. Your card from the bottom of the deck. This is a potential theme for you in the month. And you start out with the Page of Swords. One of the readers I watch, I don't know which one it is, she refers to this one as the New Age page. Uh, <laughs> I refer to this one as the New Information page. Uh, Yes, it's something new coming to light, a new thought that we're having, and it's not something we necessarily have experience with. We have inspired enlightenment when we see this page here. Swords are our thoughts and our words and how we speak to our own selves and self-relationship, you know, the ongoing conversation that, that just runs on and on in the noggin. Um, something new and something fresh is going to inspire there for us and give us perhaps a bit of an epiphany with something that we don't have a lot of experience with, though once considered, we desire to pursue the information, the education. So this is a month-long process potentially for you, Gemini. Inspired thoughts and ideas. Let's take a look at your first card. Very nice. You have the Hermit. A quest beckons, seeking enlightenment. This is wonderful. It's a great transition from the Page of Swords to the Hermit because pages highlight for us where we have a lack of experience or a need for education, edification, right? So we need to go and pursue the knowledge that's required to go after the inspired idea. And what's so lovely about it is that we're experienced enough to sort of tuck in and do that. We know what it takes. We're not a complete newbie here. So we're willing to bring to bear all of our collective experience in the now moment to where we don't have experience and leverage that upon it. So we, we move out of a lack of experience or information swiftly into being experienced and learning just how we can put our new idea to work for us. Let's see what comes with it. Four of Wands. Such a beautiful card. You know, fours, as I remind you always, are stable foundations, stability, good structure for us, and the Four of Wands is one of the happiest in the minor suits of tarot. It's a card of bliss, joy, love, engagement, marriage, unity, communication, and all things unfolding in a pleasurable and happy way. And what's so nice about this is, Gemini, for you, I feel like there's a project in front of you. Or you have been involved in a project for some period of life experience. And this project continues to inspire you with new and fresh ideas where you have inexperience, but you're experienced enough to know <laughs> that you don't know enough. Follow me on that one? However, you have the wherewithal to chase down the information, the education that you require to create a Four of Wands type of experience in your life. I'm feeling for you, Gemini, that this is a time of you really being a good go-getter. You know what you need, so you go get it. You don't know how to do something, you teach yourself how to do something. You go after it. Because you're inspired by this Four of Wands energy to continue to create this type of energy for your long-term happiness and fulfillment. You know that it takes some effort and some endurance in the present moment and you are willing to put in you're willing to put in the elbow grease for that to happen then you have 
Ooh, the magician. Core message on the magician. Make what you want a reality. The magician has all of the tools of the tarot at his disposal. He can create, co-create with the universe exactly what it is he wants to. So this is another message. This is how you go out and do it. You are the magician. You are the one casting the magic in your life to make your four of wands type of experience happen. When we see the magician, we do pull a second card because he can be distracting. He is a showman. He's quite clever and he's quite charming. So we want to find out where we could be clever and charming and talk ourselves through distraction out of something. And we have the eight of wands. Ooh. Now eights and tarot, they move energy beautifully. They're swift. And they're strong, exceptionally stable. So it's like you're turning your four into an eight. You're doubling it. <clears throat> Pardon. So that's a super strong foundation. That's wonderful stability in your life. That's creating good, lasting structures for yourself. You are making that a reality. By seeking enlightenment, going after what you don't know, teaching yourself what you need to know, and paying attention to the incoming information, which brings us back to our page of swords, because the Eight of Wands is incoming information. There's also uh, a message of marriage in this card out of Ancient Tarot as well. This is a unity card. So, for some of you, you could be building on a really strong foundation at this time within Beloved Relationship. Whether you're getting married, engaged, moving in together, or just joining your lives in a more solid and committed way, however that's happening for you, this is some of the magic that's at the center of your focus and what you're holding in your heart space at this time. And the new information that's coming in with the page and the information that's coming in with the eight all seems quite encouraging for you to take... Uh, a fresh step into connection with a beloved at this time. I really do feel like the joining of lives here. Something's coming together in a very unified way that feels fulfilling to your long-term happiness. Yours and your partner's as well. This too, though, in the distraction position, is becoming inundated with information. There could be a little bit too much that be could become distraction distracting, too many details to pay attention to. So what you want to do if that's the case, if that's what's happening, if you'd find yourself there, you want to come out of overwhelm into whelm, <laughs> get into your heart space and ask yourself, is what I'm doing bringing me closer or further to or from what it is I'm dreaming for? So come back to the heart space. This is where you find the enlightenment you require for whatever the next step is whether that's in your career, a project you're working on, or within your beloved relationship. Coming next, Two of Cups. Look at this. Come on. <laughs> Beautiful. Joining. Unity. Connection. It's so sweet. Dolphins coming together. Such a beautiful card. Okay, Two of Cups. You know this is a unity card. You know it's a love card. You do know that it is collaboration in business. It is business, business deals done on a handshake there in this card as well. Though I'm leaning much more into beloved romantic relationship. So from that perspective, it looks really promising, very positive for you. Lots of good communication between you and your partner. Now, if this is something project related or career, how you are of service related, then it's great communication with those that you are working with. And if you're wondering, can I trust the person I'm negotiating with at this time? That's a solid yes right there. Though use your discretion. Uh, investigate <laughs> whatever it is you're going to negotiate. Uh, get the education you require. If you need more information, go get it. So at the center of it all, it seems solid, it seems honest, and it seems right though dot your i's and cross your t's <laughs> what a nice message for you let's move into the oracle cards we're going to check out the angels and ancestors what they would like to share with you this month okay 
Okay, angels and ancestors, what would you like to share with Gemini? You get guardian angel. You are not alone. <laughs> no, you're not. You are watched over with such beautiful loving grace from your guides and your angels, your ancestors. They are there with you. For some of you, I feel like you've had real contact with your loved ones who've crossed over. You've had signs. Uh, if you've been celebrating this past week, Thanksgiving here in the U.S., uh, likely there are some family members that were not joining you at the table physically this year. But in spirit, they were there, and it's very possible you had signs from them as well. So if you were questioning it, this feels like confirmation. Okay, uh, Indigo Angels asking them the same. What would they like to share with Gemini for the month of December? <laughs> Very sweet. You have the Make-A-Wish card. She's looking, she's wishing upon a star. <laughs> That's the Magician card. You know, make a wish. Wish upon a star for yourself. You're doing all that you can possibly do in your realm and in your unique and wonderful way to make what you want real. And one essential step in that process is certainly wishing upon a star. So go ahead and do that. Now we're moving on to the Romance Angels Oracle cards. We have one popping out of the deck for you. Ooh, second time I've seen this card in the readings. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel that's happening. You've got a lot of communication going here with the Page of Swords. You may be discussing something new within Beloved Relationship. You could be joining households. Uh, you could be getting married, engaged. Something of that nature, you're talking about it. So have your heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Put everything out there on the table. Hold nothing back. Um, create a very strong, strong foundation for you and your beloved to build a life on. All right, next card, last card is Affirmation from the Universe Has Your Back. And you get, I honor how I want to feel. Yeah. Again, we come back to the Magician and this one card ends up summarizing the entire reading. You're doing all this based on how you feel. And you've got new information coming in. You have new things to consider. A new adventure or quest to pursue here on the Hermit card. And you're being asked to follow your heart. And if you're doing that, you're going to honor how you feel. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. Again, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus videos and the dailies. And find me on Instagram. There's a different reading posted there every day as well. Have a beautiful, beautiful December. Peace.